Hey, how's it going, everybody? This is another podcast with Addis P. If you enjoy this, please like, share, and subscribe, and that would be appreciated. This time I'm going to talk about the Phoenix Suns-New York Knicks game that ended a few minutes ago in Madison Square Garden, downtown Manhattan, New York City, the greatest city on the planet. We all know that. The final score was 118 to 110. The Phoenix Suns got the win. Chris Paul, Devin Booker, DeAndre Ayton, Bridges, and even Craig. You got to admit that the Phoenix Suns have great players, great starters. And they actually lost last night in Brooklyn, but that doesn't mean anything. In the beginning, Reggie Bullock was hot. Alfred Payton was also uh, helping with his rebounding and his assists. The Knicks played tough D in the beginning from the get-go. Chris Paul got a technical foul, which means that uh, great players usually get frustrated when their opponents are holding them down by playing great D on them. Then towards the end of the first quarter, Devin Booker started to warm up. The 24-year-old is such a creative player. The fact that Bullock got two fouls so prematurely in the game was bad news for the Knicks, especially because he was on a roll. The Knicks were way ahead in the beginning, but Phoenix had an 8-0 run before the end of the first quarter. I guess that playing defense with zeal makes the Knicks uh, foul opponents while they're shooting for three, which is a little foolish, but okay. The Suns got a lot of help from their bench, which is weird because usually the Knicks uh, do, especially lately. The first quarter ended 29-36. to 36. The Knicks were in front. Then in the second quarter, we had Derrick Rose with his assists and uh, Obi Toppin with a few layups. Both making a good start. But the Suns are balanced. And I'd say that they're uh, strong in defense and offense. And when it comes to defense, Craig is amazing. He, He did some great work on Randall. The Suns haven't made it to the playoffs for 10 years now. The Knicks haven't for seven, by the way. My favorite player tonight was Derrick Rose. And especially when he got a rebound next to taller opponents, I I went wild. He had said that when he came to New York, he was going to do his best. He was going to really do some contribution here. It's his second time. Well, he said it and he did it. I love it when people keep their word. Julius Randle was ice cold in the whole uh, first half. He only scored five points, and on the other hand, Devin Booker scored 20. The score at halftime was 56 to 63, from what I can recall. The Knicks were ahead. The Knicks even led with 15 a couple times. But the Suns are one of the best teams in the NBA, and they found ways to react, which was not surprising. Booker is only 6'5", but he has a lethal shot. He's swift. He's amazing. You gotta be physical in order to stop him. And that ain't easy. Basically, I really think that there's no way to stop Booker. Even DeAndre Ayton started uh, hurting the Knicks in the paint in the third quarter. Julius Randle started to score threes. The first lead of the game for Phoenix came a little before the end of the third quarter, which ended all tied at 87. Chris Rock, John Stewart, and LL Cool J were in the building, by the way. In the fourth quarter, we had a lot of suspense. Bridges was amazing for the Suns. And they actually got crucial uh, offensive rebounds that made things tough for the Knicks. Even though Randall knocked down a three-pointer towards the end, Chris Paul, with his quality... In his experience, he scored a big buckets, seven points that devastated the Knicks. So the streak came to an end, unfortunately for us. Now we got to play against Chicago at home, and then we have to travel to Houston to face the Rockets. See y'all. Peace out.